Welcome back to Elden Ring. We're following in the footsteps of Ronnie, which has taken us to the Moonlight Altar up here where we've never been before. We've been below this, but not to the top. And there's a lot here. There's these ruins, this building, ruins here, ruins there. It looks like there's like a little castle down here and maybe an Everjail or something here. Yeah, there's quite a bit. I'm assuming this is the main building. Just because it's kind of the biggest. Although this also could be the main building. But let's leave those two things perhaps to last. Check out the ruins and stuff first. Try Everjail and then Precious Item. Okay, well, let's try that first. It's so pretty up here. I'm curious what the time of day is. It's called the Moonlight Altar, so I wonder if it's just always nighttime up here. Does it say the current time? Oh yeah, it says night. Let's see what it's like at noon. I'm feeling like it might still be dark. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just always like this here. Oh, hello. I don't think that's a boss. Or, hmm, maybe. It's just there's another one over there as well. I guess I'll do Terra Magica and just go for it. Oh, let's also do uh, Rinald's Full Moon. Wait, did it spot me? No, it's just moving. The other one. Yeah, I think it's highly resistant to magic, because it seems to be a magic type. Oof. Perhaps melee would be good, something that's not magic. So let's try Cold Knight Rider Flail. Oh, let's actually do Unseen Form so I can get close. Okay. Right, we have the problem of actually hitting any of their body parts. That's not working too well. The turtle's okay. That's fine. Oh, 
Oh no, I don't have any uh, raisins on hand. Okay, we're good. Okay, yeah, I don't need these boluses anymore. Oh no. Whoops. Didn't I make like a million raisins? Yeah, I guess I just unequipped them at some point. Okay, I assume you're the same. You look the same. Oh god, there's even another one. Yeah, let's get some distance from the other one. I don't want two dragons on me at one time. Up? I don't know. <laughs> I can't find it down there. I'm just gonna hang back here and see if it... Well, the music's gone, so it de -aggroed. Okay, I guess I'm going for the other one. just kill some wildlife. Oh, the other dragon's back. I don't think it's aggroed on me, though. These dragons are wild. Uh. I hope they don't respawn. I mean, one of them dropped a dragon heart, so it probably won't respawn. Do they respawn? No. They don't respawn. Good. Alright, yeah, we're gonna try the crag blade. See if this works any better. And I do want my souls back. Ah, oh, come back here.
let's bait out maybe a magic breath? Some sort of magic attack. Oh, that does way more damage. Try to bait out another magic attack. Well, not that one. It's basically in the other dragon. What is the range on this special? Oh wait, no, that moves me too, <laughs> right? <laughs> I was thinking the Bolt of Grand Sex. Yeah. Which, actually, now that I think about it, might be kind of good here, too. Mm. Where are you there? There you are. That also does lightning damage. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can I do that on horseback? I don't think I can. No, I can't. Should do it. Yeah. Okay, range isn't that good. This should do it. Let's go back here. I want to get all my stuff back. I must have so many dragon hearts at this point. I don't think I've spent a single one. I think they're only useful if you have arcane. It's nice and peaceful here. Every jail's down there. Let's see if there's any items here where the dragons were. I know I already picked up some gravel stone. We 
Wait, I hear twinkling, tinkling. Ah, it's for health potions beneath me. Yeah, I don't see anything. To the Ever Jail. Or Gaul, as I like to call it. Gaul! Alright, this is either going to say praise the dog or... Yeah, it's going to be praise the dog or f fuck the turtle in the butthole. One of those two. Didn't, didn't expect dog. Oh, it was a good choice. And this one? Aww. Oh. Hello. Oh, oh no. Uh... Okay, they didn't quite aggro. They're just kind of coming towards me. I need strike. I think the Bolt of Grand Sax is better than the Dragon King Crackblade? I don't know. Maybe? It certainly has better range. Anyway. Strike, 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 strike. I went past it. Strike. Oh, wow. Don't approach those things on a horse. Let's see if I can just get one. Actually, I think it might be possible. Yeah, the other one's kind of aggroed less. It's looking where the shot hit rather than actually coming towards me. Come on. Come on. Ah! Please come around the corner. I don't want to aggro the other one. Okay, we should be fine now. Can't hit them. There's one. One more should do it. Yeah. There's more. Ok, 
curious how much damage this would do. Well, terrible, but it did knock them down. Ooh, yeah, it's actually good for breaking their poise. That makes that a lot easier, actually. You beetle. I've always been a big fan of the beetles. I think I need Night Comet. There we go. I thought this was an ever jail, but it isn't. Try defensible spot? Oh, maybe. Oh, probably like hide in here and um, I guess range the red wolf. Oh, this isn't even the spot I was thinking of. I thought was the ever jail. That is.
Well, I guess I might as well explore this while I'm down here. Oh, wait, no, that's one of the main looking areas. Yeah, we're not doing that. Let's go back up here towards the Everjail. Yeah, there we go. Gonna have to be Night Comet. Oh, you have a lot of hit points. Oh, Christ. That attack just there reminded me of, um, Mollykith. Let's try guard counters. Put on a talisman that increases guard counters, the effectiveness of them. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's also good. I'd say that took a good chunk of his health off. Oh, are you afraid to face me now? Bye-bye. Black Knife Tish. Was that the useful item they were talking about? Because that message said, like, try that ever jail because there's a useful item or something like that. So, unfortunately, it's not going to be useful to me. Ooh, that's even more expensive than Hugh. Hugus. 133. Tish was one of the assassins who, on the night of the plot, imbued her black knife with the rune of death and slew Godwin the Golden. She was the daughter of the black knife ringleader, Electo, and was killed protecting her mother during their flight from the royal capital. Where to next? Um, let's check out these ruins. Oh, 
I should change this. I have the fire damage negation. Let's just do physical damage negation. And also the guard counters thing I don't really need anymore. I think what I was using before... Oh, right. We got this from EG. Lowers FP consumed by skills. An honor said to have once been awarded to Carrion Knights who served as direct retainers to the kingdom's princesses. Now there's only one princess, Ronnie, daughter of Renala. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Don't think that's the thing for me, though. Back to my spiky ball. Greatly raises potency of sorceries. Moonfolk Ruins. Oh man. That's what those little swords... Whoop. That's what those little swords do.
Is that it for the ruins? I guess so. Okay, let's try these. state ruins. Oh, thank God. These are fine. Thought it was the other things. Although, if these are here, there might be one of those other things somewhere here. that. Is one of them going to spawn from there? That looks like their effect when they come out of the ground. Yup. Die. 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 Fuck you. Gargoyle there. Cerulean Amber Medallion plus two. I think that increases my FP. Yeah, vastly raises maximum FP. 22. That is a lot. Don't think I need that, though. Okay, I think that's it for those ruins. Oh, looks like these are considered part of the same ruins, and I haven't checked those out yet. I don't think there's anything in these ruins. Wait. No, no, no. There is something. Hmm. 
Meh. Well, that, I think, is it, except for the two big things. That and that. Given that these are called the Lunar Estate Ruins, I'm assuming this is the Lunar Estate. I'm curious what's down here, though. It kind of looks like you can maybe go around this ledge and end up here. So let's see if that's possible. Like, I can't imagine there not being anything of significance down here, even though it doesn't seem like it on the map. check back here. It's suspicious. I feel like there must be something back here. A cave or something. Guess not. Not here, but look up. Wait, I didn't see any turtles. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of ledges there. Might just be a quick way down, but let's check. Oh no, don't hurt it! Oh, thank god. Dog! Yeah, I think that's just a quick way down. Okay, let's see if there's anything else down here. Let's see if we can pass through there to that little castle thing over there. Actually, it's not a castle. It's like it's like Ronnie's Rise, like one of those things. Oh, want to see him come out? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it does lead all the way to the other side. Ooh, side of grace. Alter South. Oh, it's one of those puzzle ones. Seek three great wise beasts. Are these ghost turtles again?
We've seen one up in a tree at one point. We've seen them hiding in bushes. You're a real turtle. found even a single one. Where are they? Seek east and then seek cliff. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Christ, I'm supposed to find three of these. Where are the other two gonna be? It's so big! It's so big! Ugh, sorry. That was a weirdly fast death animation. I hate that I have to kill them. I wish I could just touch them and they just disappear. Why do I have to kill them? Tower required ahead, already done. Likely dog, yes, please, anybody? Anybody want to tell me where the next one is? I guess not, crap. Okay, well, I know that they can be quite far away. And if this one is like the others, which it probably is, there's probably a lot of normal turtles around the big one. Haven't been able to find any of the other beasts. So, let's check the Lunar Estate. That's the one place I haven't visited. Let's check the outside of it first, before I go inside. Though it doesn't look like there's that much of an inside, it's actually all rotted out. Is that ruins I... Oh no, that's ruins I have visited. Whoa. Wait. That's not the one I want. Um... I don't think it aggroed to me. Bolt of Grand Sex. There you are. Oh, that's a proper boss. Glenstone Dragon Adula. Whoa, that's cool.
Ooh, Adula's Moonblade. Oh, that's a moon sorcery, so that'll be boosted by my my staff. I did it. Good job. Cathedral of Manus Celis. Starlight shards everywhere. Ooh, mysterious hole. I thought this was the Lunar Estate. Maybe it is, actually. It probably is. It just goes by multiple names. I guess its proper name is Cathedral of Manicellus, perhaps? Hmm. There's still the mystery of where those turtles are. Okay, a message that was near the gargoyle down here said, go to the north and check out the Everjail and look for a spirit spring. Just found it. There's a whole bunch of turtles here and a spirit spring. Uh, where's this going to take me, though? Like, where can I possibly go with this? <laughs> um. Oh, I think I... Oh, that's interesting. How the hell? That's so goofy. What is it, a kite? <laughs> it's flying, wee. How, how do I hurt it? Do I have to launch into the bottom of it? I think it's just about over now? Yeah. Okay, that's two out of three. Okay, the third one we couldn't find on our own, so I had to Google it. It is, well, it's right there. Um, hmm. I can't seem to target it, so I guess I'm gonna have to freehand it. What? Why did it go over there? Well, is it trying to seek out, like, the nearest enemy? Maybe I need to use a bow? There we go. Ooh, we have two new spells. Ronnie's Dark Moon. I guess that would be considered a moon sorcery. So Ronnie's Dark Moon requires 68 int, so very high level spell, just to less int requirement than Renala's full moon. Incarnate a cold, dark moon and launch it at foes. I assume that does ice damage. Um. Oh, here we go. Uses the caster as a vessel to incarnate a cold, dark moon, then sends it floating towards foes. The dark moon dispels all sorcery that touches it and temporarily reduces magic damage negation for those it strikes. Hmm. This moon was encountered by a young Rani led by the hand of her mother, Renala. 
which she beheld was cold, dark, and veiled in occult mystery. So, hmm, I wonder how different it is from Renal's full moon. Renal's full moon is not really that useful as a damage dealing thing directly, but rather the fact that it makes the enemy more uh, susceptible to magic damage. Dispels all sorcery that touches it and temporarily reduces magic damage negation. Yeah, so that part of it's the same. It says it's cold, which makes me think it does frost damage. Takes two less int. I don't know. The, da the magic damage negation might be different. It doesn't say. I can't tell. I'd have to Google it. Takes the same amount of slots. Seems very similar. Ah, Adula's Moonblade was the other thing. Conjures a cold magic greatsword, then delivers a sweeping blow that launches a blade-like projectile of frost. The sorcery can be cast repeatedly. Adula, a devourer of sorcerers, was bested by Rani and subsequently swore a knightly oath to her dark moon. Requires 32 int, takes 26 FP. Just one slot. Oh, Rani's dark moon takes more FP. The other one takes 55, Ronnie's takes 62. Which suggests it is perhaps more powerful. So this is Ronnie's Dark Moon. Yeah, uh, it does 10% damage negation reduction on the target that you hit. I forgot to look at Renala's full moon though, so I'm not sure if that's better or worse. But it does do um, frost damage quite a bit. 270 of it. So for that reason alone, I think I'm going to use it instead of the normal moon, because it can only be better, I think. Like, it just applies more status effects. So I might as well use it instead. Let's get rid of the other one. Aside from that, we also have Adula's Moonblade. Ah, cool. It said it can be cast repeatedly, so let's try that. Yeah. Remains to be seen how much damage these actually do, but they look really cool. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to try those new spells out in this hole.